assalamu alaikum viewers today we are going to discuss developmental patterns or we can also say initial stages of development of an embryo an animal starts its life as a zygote and what is zygote zygote is a diploid cell which is formed as a result of fertilization now what is fertilization so we define fertilization as whenever the sperm cell from the male and the egg cell from the female fuses together and form a cell this process is known as fertilization and the diploid cell is basically considered as zygote now after zygote this zygote start dividing or we can also say there is a division in the zygote there is a sequence of mitotic division in the zygote that is called cleavage now the first cleavage is basically divided the zygote into two parts just like i am mentioning here the zygote is divided into two cell and then there is another mitotic division and the zygote is divided into four cells and then these division continues and the cell arises or reach at the eight cell stage as we have said this is a sequence of mitotic division so the division of cell starts conti continues and they will form a solid ball of cell that is called morula so we can say between the cleavage as the cleavage is continuous and before blastula that is uh, that is present here in front of you we have another stage that is considered as morula and this is basically the solid ball of cell it, it means the cluster of the cells that is formed by the division of or can say the mitotic division of the cells now the next stage is considered as blastula basically blastula is the hollow ball of cell hollow ball of cell as you can see is here in the cross section of blastula that there is a hollow cavity in between the cells and this cavity is called blastocoel now after blastula there is a next stage that is considered as gastrula or gastrulation now what is happening here basically the cells start invaginating or we can say that the cells invaginates or folds inside as you can easily observe here that the cells are folding inside and this point the arrow is indicating here the opening and this pore or this opening is called blasto pore clear this pore is considered as blastopore basically we can say that at this point the gastrula starts to formed or gastrulation starts this is gastrulation and you can see here this pore is called blastopore and the cavity is called blastocoel cavity and we have said that the invagination of cell starts from the blastopore inside and a new cavity is formed that is called archenteron or it is also called as enteron as the development of we can say the further development and movement of cells basically produce a hollow digestive system that is called enteron if it is open at one end only and a gut if it has developed a second opening so we can say basically this cavity leads to a future gut clear now here you can observe you can see the germ layers the ectoderm outer layer of cells while the endoderm 
form the inner layer of cells you can clearly see here that this one is the inner layer of the cells while ectoderm is the outer one clear and this stage is called gestulation so here the basic developmental pattern are, has been explained 